What's up? I'm Garrett here with Self Thought Dev. Today, I just wanted to talk a little bit about how I went from working at a call center to working as a developer or a web developer in about eight or nine months. Um, so, if you don't know, I used to work at a call center for about a year. Uh, about two months into the job, I the novelty kind of wore off, and I realized I hated my job and like dreaded going to work every day, and that I couldn't do that as a career. So, I started trying to figure out something else to do. And in college, I had two computer science majors as my roommates, and they showed me um, Code Academy and Team Treehouse. So I knew that uh, I knew you could basically like learn how to be a web developer just studying at home online. And I really liked the tech industry. And then the salaries looked like they were pretty good for those positions as well. So I decided to go with that. So I signed up for Team Treehouse. Um, I think I did, yeah, I did one of their tech degree programs. Um, it was like the front end web developer program. They've got 12 units in them. They, each unit's got a little project you, you do at the end. And they were made by like professional, develop, professional designers. So they look really good. So you can just do a couple of those and throw them up in your portfolio. Uh, let's see here. So yeah, I made it all the way to unit number nine, and then I felt like some of the skills I learned back in project number like four or three or five, um, I kind of felt like I hadn't used those much since those units, and then I needed to go back and drill down on them a little bit. So I switched over to the JavaScript full stack developer track, because I knew with that I'd have to go back to the basics. Um, for the first few projects and that helped me review and then I also started doing free code camp too because free code camp is a great place to learn too their project they've got a bunch of projects on theirs as well for free the only problem is their projects don't look too great so it's kind of a trade-off I mean you can do the free stuff and get projects that don't look too good or I mean if you put in some work you can make them look like way better than they are or you can do um, Team Treehouse and get like a mock-up made by a designer that looks great. Uh, let's see here. So I started around March or April. And then in, in June, I started applying for jobs. In July, I got my first interview. And I think I did decent on like the in-person part. And then they also got me to make a website while I was there. They basically gave me a mock-up and said, all right, you have 20 minutes, build as much of this website as you can. And that got me super nervous and I could do it. I was just really slow. And they had people that got way farther than I did in 20 minutes. So didn't end up getting that job. Uh, if you wanna hear more about that, I posted a video last week on how my interviews went when I was looking for a job. So be sure to check that out. Um, So, I've got a little list of my, of like the steps I wanted to talk about. That's why I keep looking over here. So yeah, um, after that I stopped applying for jobs for a little bit and just kind of focused on free code camp and the Team Treehouse front end developer, um, full stack JavaScript degree. And then in like October I started applying again. When I applied for jobs, I'd basically, I'd basically come into work, I would pull up Craigslist, Indeed, Stack Overflow Jobs, Angel List, LinkedIn, um, Dice. I think that's it. Yeah, just those six. And I basically apply for, I'd search web developer and apply for anything that I was remotely qualified for that had been posted within the past few days. So if it said you need five years experience in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, I was applying because maybe they're not going to find somebody with five years and they'll take me instead. So just apply to anything you think you're remotely qualified for. Um, a typical day while I was studying too, um, I'd basically get up at like 4.45 in the morning, go to the gym, get home at six, from like six to 6.30 I'd eat and take a shower. And then from 6.30 to 8.30 I'd code. Then I'd go to work from 8.30 to seven at night. And then from seven to 7.30 eat, eat dinner and relax a little bit, and then from 7.30 to 8.30 or 9, I'd code more. So I was getting in like three hours of code per day on the weekdays, 
And then on the weekends, I'd say I was probably doing like, probably like five hours a day on the weekends. So in total, I was doing anywhere from like 20 to 25 hours of coding a week. Kind of varied because there's times where I'd just, I'd come home from work and be two down and just play Xbox until I went to sleep. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, a couple months after that first job interview, I started applying for more jobs. And in November, I went to an interview at my current job and did decent, I guess. Um, but they gave me a chance, and I've been working there since December 3rd, and it's been awesome. Um, I think that is all I wanted to talk about. So, yeah, definitely check out Team Treehouse if you haven't, or Free Code Camp or Code Academy. Um, I didn't really use Code Academy much on my journey, but it's a, from what I've heard, it's a decent place. Uh, if you do want to do Team Treehouse, though, I have a link in the description. So check that out, and you can help support the channel if you do end up signing up through there. Um, if you have any other questions or need any help, just leave me a comment below, and I will see you next time. Peace.